Hey everybody, this is Oliver Joyce and welcome to another week of Whiskey Barrel Studios development. And it's almost Halloween, uh, a very spooky, scary time for all. Not that scary here in Australia though, because of course our seasons are reversed to most of the Northern Hemisphere. And, um, you know, it's sunny outside and it's Halloween. It's kind of you know, bright sunlight and ghouls and ghosts don't really mix. But uh, it's still kind of fun. My little boy is enjoying uh, dressing up with uh, vampire costumes and things. All right. Today, today I want to talk to you about guitars. Now, if you remember Swords and Sandals 3, uh, guitars and, and sort of rock and roll and heavy metal was a big part of the Swords and Sandals experience. And uh, it disappeared again um, in Swords and Sandals 4 and onwards. And I wanted to bring that back for Swords and Sandals Immortals because... If you've heard the soundtrack to this and some of the tracks from it, it has a real 80s rock vibe to it, a real power rock. Think uh, Rocky Balboa, montages and, you know, Transformers, You Got the Touch, Eye of the Tiger, all that sort of stuff, uh, which is music that I grew up on and I love and kind of lends itself to the sort of rock opera nature of Sword and Sandals. And I wanted guitars to come back and just to represent that. Uh, and a lot of people missed guitars and they're quite a sort of a, a different style of play. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about how guitars and other sonic weapons, but pretty much exclusively guitars and keytars, which are keyboard guitars, work in the game. Uh, primarily they are sonic based weapons, uh, which you can use in melee. If you want to smash your opponent over the head with a guitar, you're welcome to, but they don't do as much damage. But primarily they're used to sort of uh, create status effects, both positive and negative, to yourself and your enemies. Let's check out a quick battle where our hero is wielding a guitar. Okay, here we have a battle between a human warrior and a Kragite paladin. And a human warrior is equipped with a Stratoblaster guitar, which is uh, the only guitar in the game right now. So firstly, I want to show you a couple of the new... Um, uh, the features in the game basically so when you roll over a character you can see your stats their stats I can't remember if I showed you that last week but at a glance you can now see um, you know how much strength charisma and defense they have also we have rollovers on skills and they appear down the bottom because it just makes more sense to keep it out of the way of battle walk forward jump it tells you basically what the stats do so let's move backwards This is the new Bamboo Forest as well, uh, a new background I'm premiering today. Uh, what do you think? There's going to be extra sort of um, leaf particles and, you know, wind and everything later on once, you know, the, I mean, the extra polish phase of development. All right. I'll move back a little bit, see if it follows us. Okay, let's use a first guitar skill right now. Okay, we have, we don't have enough um, essence available for um, power cord. But that's basically like a, a wall of sound attack. Let's do a whale, which transfers some of their essence points to you. Okay, see, plus 12 to you, minus 12 to him. Now, if we move backwards again, we can use it up close, but I'm just trying to get, keep a bit of distance between us. But he's attacking anyway. All right, let's try the solo. That's inspired us. That boosts our sort of spirit bar up um, all these things are red now because we can't use them we don't have an essence so we're gonna have to rest or just use an essence potion so you can see it on the bottom there uh, I don't have any descriptions for that yet drink small essence potion still waiting on a description all right drink that and you do a little bit damage to their armor that's fine okay um, so it didn't give us much health, uh, much, much essence. I'll rest. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the um, shred, which a terrifying dirge that increases your enemy's stress. Ah, ignored. Depending on your characters, uh, it's charisma versus. I can't remember what the counter stat for that, but it might be intellect. So the more intelligent you are, the more you likely you are to resist something like that. Okay. Each stat has a counter stat now. Um, try it again. 
didn't seem to work. All right. I'm going to rest fully. Now we're going to try the um, power cord. And that did 19 sonic damage. So that's kind of a nice um, way of doing things. Basically a ranged attack with unlimited ammo. And of course you can attack them over the head with a guitar if you want. He's parried that though. But both that character is a bit hopeless right now. What's his attack rating? One. Mine's one, two. All right. What I'm thinking of doing is having um, a durability stat for guitars only. So if you use them a bit in battle, they'll break. Because this is going to be part of... Uh, shields will also have durability, sorry. Um, use a potion. Oh yeah, we've got some taunts there. I can't remember if I showed you them, but intimidate will scare the enemy away. So now he ran away and he's come back. Now for the next three turns, you see here, he's forced to move backwards at the start of each turn. So if I rest, he'll run backwards. And he's going to run backwards and run forwards. And you can see a little cooldown thing here as well, which shows you um, how long that's got to go. So if I move backwards here, he has to move backwards. The enemy AI right now is really stupid. It's only got about four or five moves and they don't really consider their sort of status effects and so on. But if we use another taunt, confuse him, intimidate. Let's do a taunt for some sonic damage, see if it does anything. Great, we did some sonic damage. Excellent. That stressed him out. Now I'll try and stress him out more. Oh! Didn't work. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so as with everything in Sword and Sandals development right now, very much a work in progress. And I've been sort of just toying with that. And those characters are very sort of low stat characters. And, and really, uh, you won't be able to wield a guitar until you're a little bit more um, skilled. And you'll also have a whole talent tree dedicated to sonic-based weapons called theatrics. Uh, so those guitars right then, you, you saw them in effect, but they weren't super powerful. But you'll be able to do sonic attacks that, you know, fully knock back your enemy and, and scare the hell out of them and that kind of thing once you build it up. So I'm looking forward to, you know, showing off a powerful guitar build once um, I have that sort of all working. Same with the AI. The AI is doing dumb things. It walks backwards, it walks forwards, random chance of a hit, that kind of thing. I'll be putting in some decent AI in the uh, coming months as well. And um, yeah, it's it's quite fun to build all this guitar stuff and start adding in the status effects. And, you know, there's um, scared and enraged, confused, frozen, immolated. Uh, lots of different status effects that happen at the start of um, each turn. So, um, you know, if your character is enraged, he's forced to move forward at the beginning of each turn. Uh, slightly different to how it worked in Sword and Sandals too, but um, a bit more tactical. So uh, I think that'll be pretty cool. Once again, I want to give a big shout out to the uh, the true engine room of uh, what helps make Whiskey Barrel Studios what it work, and that is the Patreons. Uh, Neighbor Jack, Jandaku Chinahi, Noah Gurajan, Nico, Xup Omega, Ilya Gurevich, Jeffro from Hex3D, Davi, Akim, Shabanov, Pialo34, Michael Loda, Yunus Yalo, Hopeless, Chris Lopez, Daniel Funches, Big Mike, and Brandon K. Gladiators, I salute you. And you know who else salutes you is our friend, the Amra. If you would like to be a Patreon, that would make my day. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Fag and the Amra. Or always a little grumpy. But yeah, you can become a Patreon. And uh, every week I do a special article just for patrons, uh, just talking about uh, what I'm working on that week in a little bit more depth and uh, before everyone else sees it. So um, also, if you're a patron, um, and you at a certain tier, I'll draw a picture of you and add you into the game. And at a certain higher, higher tier, you get access to the uh, beta of the game when it finally comes out before early access, before everyone else. So that'll be fun too. Looking forward to sharing that all with you guys. Also this week, I've been working on the multiplayer component of the game just a little bit because I have a guy working with me who's sort of investigating the networking components and everything. 
It's a big job, and I'm not going to lie. I had originally thought that this will be available for early access, but this isn't going to come at the start of early access. This will come somewhere during that period, and, and it'll probably launch uh, a while after the single-player one. Just because there's a lot of work in this, and you know, uh, we want to get it right, but uh, sometime during the early access we'll release multiplayer. But to get all that working, I've been developing the multiplayer lobby uh, and that's just sort of like, you know, you enter a room and you can see other gladiators there, uh, just the names of them and, you know, their level and so on. Choose someone to fight, challenge someone, be challenged, chat in a little chat box, and you're away. And part of this will also mean there are certain um, training arena champions for you to fight in the multiplayer, basically bots of different levels. But these will be famous YouTubers. Uh, so far, I have um, Cutie, T-E-W-T-O-Y, who's a great uh, YouTuber, very funny guy who loves games. He's done some Sword and Sandal stuff before. The great Jerome ASF, who uh, really helped me out early on. Big, big, big star in the Minecraft world. And if you're into Minecraft, you'll know who this guy is. Uh, but he got his start on Swords and Sandals as well. Um, He's, a, he's a, a really funny guy, and they've recorded some voices, and they'll be creating arena champions for you guys to fight with. Um, you know, there is a sort of, there'll be like a level 5 um, champion, a level 10 champion, a level 15 champion, just basically for you to sort of train your multiplayer character uh, and just test out your stats and things like that. And they may even be unlockable as far as, you know, they have special items and so on. We're working on that. There will be other YouTubers announced. Uh, Easy Speezy will be on board. Um, maybe Karolek from Poland, um, a few other guys. Uh, and of course, I've mentioned Critical to you guys who uh, I'm still talking to. We're still trying to get something worked out. Uh, he may be the voice of the arena. He's a very busy guy. So, you know, we've got to uh, you know do things in, in time. But good thing is we have time with this game. Um, there's a long way to go, but I'm really excited with where the game is at. Speaking of where the game is at, let's check out the trailer. For those who have been living under a rock and haven't seen the trailer, check it out. I want to update this trailer because this is footage from um, months ago and you can see all the gladiators are basically human uh, except for the automatons. Um, and you know, they have a lot more sort of different moves, there's two-handed moves and things like that. Still, it's pretty cool and um, that soundtrack by Electro is absolutely awesome. I'm so proud to have that guy on board, as well as Bakimi for my art. Uh, between those guys, it's a talented team. It's just not longer just me at Whiskey Barrel Studios. It feels like you know a bigger operation than ever. Uh, that is about it for this week. You know, if you like the stuff, of course, um, subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. The numbers are growing, um, and of course, wish list. Please wish list the game. That is the biggest thing. I'm noticing about sort of, you know, between, you know, 10, 12 wish lists a day. And that's really great. If we can get to 5,000, we're at about 2,100 wish lists right now. If we can get to 5,000 by April, bam, we're going to be doing something special. And that's really bump us up the Steam's awareness charts and they will help promote us. Then all of a sudden, we're in the stratosphere and that will change everything for Sword and Sandals. I promise you. Got a few other surprises in the works coming up, which I'll reveal uh, going forward. That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed that little teaser on guitars. Um, and, you know, there'll be more to come from Sonic-based weapons in the future as I sort of improve and work on the skills and skill systems and everything. Busy month ahead. Enjoy your Halloween, my friends. I hope it's a scary one full of treats and uh, not so many tricks for you guys. Until next time, bye for now.